What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Source and we are back again with another video of my Honda Accord Type R. Now if you didn't see the previous videos make sure you check out part 1 as we headed over into Cardiff to pick up this 2002 Honda Accord Type R. We brought it back to the All Source HQ and here is what the bodywork looks like. It's pretty decent for the age, it's not got a lot of rust on it but there's a lot of work that we need to do so stay tuned as I'm going to explain in this video what has happened with this car and what needs doing. We are going to talk about one of the main problems this Type R has. The story goes is the guy who actually had this um, previously uh, had engine problems, the timing belt slipped, it didn't come off the car, didn't snap or anything and basically he turned the engine off straight away. Now if you know about these engines, I've been told and I've looked online as well but hopefully you can't believe half of the stuff online but anyways that if a timing belt slips or snaps make sure you switch it off straight away as uh, hopefully fingers crossed it won't bend the shafts uh, inside the engine so the engine could be saved um, unless it hits VTEC. If it hits VTEC then the engine's gone. Now there's two ways to fix this car, the cheapest way and expensive way. The cheapest way is, is we are going to try and do a timing belt replacement to see if that actually works. If not, then it's going to be another engine which is going to be really expensive. So this is how I actually got the car and the guy actually sold the rock cover. So that's one thing to add to the list. It doesn't end there. Let me just get the camera and show you. So if we go inside the car, there's something else missing. The front seats. Basically, the guy's cousin actually needed some red front seats and also a rocker cover for a Honda Accord Type R. And guess what? He sold them. While this car was on the recovery truck, I thought I'd take a quick video to show you what the underneath is like. There is a bit of surface rust, but we'll tackle that in another video. Them two problems from the engine and the seats. Overall, the bodywork is not that bad. Few scuffs around the front bumper and also the back. It has really good MOT history as well. Uh, I've been told that it's got 111,000 miles on it, so it's pretty low for a 2002 model. But hopefully, we can get this engine up and running and it will stay like that. But yeah, this car is in need of a big clean. But don't worry, we will leave that to the end. As you can see with the rear bumper, so I'm thinking the rear and the front bumper will need respraying. But overall, I've got to say, it's a really good looking car. And our goal is to get it back on the road as soon as possible. First line of business with this Honda Accord Type R, we need to clean that interior because it's really dirty. The second thing is I've actually ordered a new, well, it's not a new refurbished uh, rock cover. So that's in the post, ready to come. That is a little bit better than before but we're still missing two main parts that's the front and the passenger side seats the weather is raining outside so I thought why not come inside the tire part and explain 
in more detail what happened. So basically, the guy received the car in a Partex uh, as full, so including the front seats, uh, rocker cover, and everything like that. And like I said, he, he was told that the timing belt slipped, so he was going to restore it anyway. But along came another car, Project Car, which he shoved this one to the side, and then he started on that one, and this was just parked up ever since. Now you're probably thinking, where's the rocker cover and where's the front seats? Well, while this was parked up, one of his cousins in Scotland um, was in need of some front seats and a rocker cover. So of course the guy messaged him saying, I've got it, uh, if you want it, come and buy it. And obviously he made a quick few quid by selling them. So there's a few items I need to order and source before I can do anything with this car. But the main problem is that engine right in front. Uh, fingers crossed it's only the timing belt which we can put on get it timed up and hopefully this car will be back on the road there's not a lot much to it it's just the engine so hopefully it could be an easy fix or it could be an expensive fix now coming to the interior as you can see mine is red and black now if you know about honda accord type r's these are pretty hard to come by if you saw the previous uh, honda accord type r that i bought uh, in um, in black that was uh, black and green now they are pretty standard in all honda accord type r's but this one i have here is red and black now i have actually looked all over the internet to try and find front seats for this car and they are pretty hard to come by i've only found a, a pair in scotland which is really far for me so uh, i'm gonna give that one a miss but uh, i have seen another pair of green and black front seats so we are back on the motorway and we're heading over to york uh, this evening uh, to, uh, to get this pair of green and black uh, seats. Back on a motorway mission again. This time we we're heading over to York as there was a person breaking a Honda Accord Type Paw and luckily it was in the same colour. I found a cheap set of front green and black seats for my Honda Accord Type R. Now you're probably thinking, why would I actually get them while my interior is red and black? The whole reason was uh, number one, they were cheap, and number two, I needed these front seats because when I want to maneuver it onto the recovery truck, uh, it was easy enough to do that. But without the front seats, it's kind of hard. As soon as I got there, the guy actually had a full green and black interior set and he was selling it really cheap. So I thought, why not purchase the full set in case I wanted to change the interior uh, to green and black as it was kind of hard to try and find the red and black front seats. But if I actually find the red and black front seats, I can switch them over and sell on the green and black full interior set that I had. This guy was really helpful, his name was Nathan and he actually sourced me quite a few parts for my Honda Accord Type R. Not only did I actually buy the full green and black interior set, I also bought a power flow exhaust system. As you would know, my uh, Honda Accord Type R had the original exhaust system, but this guy actually gave me a cheap deal. So I bought the power flow exhaust system, which I cannot wait to uh, put onto the car once it's all ready and sorted. So a big thank you to that and also he took me in a free pair of wing mirrors it's the same color which i actually definitely needed so a big thank you to nathan if you are watching this might as well unbox this in the car as it's nice and clean so you're probably guessing what it is well let's find out together any ideas what it is yet 
Here we have it. Not only has he sent me a rocker cover, and also two cans of red wrinkle plus paint. He actually gave me a gasket kit as well. So quit up with that one because that's everything I need. In this video, I was gonna attempt to refurbish the rocker cover so it's nice and uh, red and factory look as it could be. But I thought, hold it as we need to see what the situation was with the engine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the rocker cover and the gasket in the car. Uh, once we recover this back to the garage, they're gonna try and fix it. And if they do fix it, they're gonna put the rocker cover on and we can refurbish it in a later date or in another video if the engine is all right. If the engine is dead, then we're gonna have to get a new engine and basically hopefully uh, there's a new rocker cover that with uh, red paint on. So we're gonna hold tight with the refurbishment of this rocker cover. The next mission I had to tackle was the front seats. Now putting these in was a mission on its own, but it's pretty basic and straightforward. The front seats are finally in. I've decided to just put the green and black front seats in first. Uh, so just so we can maneuver it onto the recovery truck and take it over to the garage to try and sort out the engine problem. Uh, but I am still looking for the red and black seats. If I can't find them, uh, I have got the full interior for the green and black, so I might change it except for the steering wheel. But fingers crossed that I actually find a pair. But if you know anyone or if you've got a uh, Honda Accord Type R, or even if you've got the seats, let me know in the comment section below or message me on one of the social medias above if you are selling them. If you know anyone who's selling them, let me know as soon as possible because that will complete the red and black interior for my Honda Accord Type R. It's time to take this back to the garage. We're gonna load it onto the truck. I've got all the parts, the seats are in, the rocker covers in the back, and also I've got the timing belt kit. So fingers crossed, it's just the timing belt that needs replacing so we can get this car back on the road. So let's load it onto the truck. And there we go, the car is at the garage. So fingers crossed, um, it, hopefully it's just a timing belt kit, but we're gonna find out soon. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you tune in for the next one to see if this car, if he's on the road or there's a problem with the engine. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you again for another part of my project car of the Honda Accord Type R. Peace.